Um, as you can see, I'm sat down on the floor in my van and I've got a Bluetti power station next to me. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about this. I've done a review on this one before. This is the EB3A, which is a 600 watt, uh, 268 watt hour uh, power bank. Uh, but yeah, we're not here to talk about this one. We're here to talk about this one. So let me just move them around a little bit. This is the EB55. This is a 700 watt, uh, 537 watt hour. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of difference in size. This one's a little bit more robust than this one. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I wanna talk about the two of them, or particularly the main one, uh, which is what I wanna talk about uh, at the bottom. Uh, we've got an input on the top. The input takes a, uh, a cable, which you can then rig to your solar panels. And you've also got a second cable. It comes with all the cables to plug it into your car. You can run it on the 12 volt socket while you're driving along, a socket similar to this one. Um, as you're driving along in your van or your car, or something you can charge this as you go. Um, you can also charge it from the solar panel. I've got a cable somewhere. It does come with the necessary cables. Uh, you get a complete set of cables. I haven't brought them all out in the van. I've just brought, literally brought uh, the one that I need to do the job for this one. Um, so yeah, it comes with cables. As you can see there, you've got the yellow connection. This goes into the yellow connection into your box. And once you plug this in, this then can go into your cigarette lighter. Uh, it also comes with a cable with a, I think they're MP4s. Uh, if quote, don't quote me on that, but I'm not 100% sure, uh, or PM4s or something like that, that, that go into your solar panels. Um, I will put the information up on the screen for you. I'm very very terrible with uh, memory. Um, I really do struggle with my memory. You also get a um, transformer with a uh, 240 volt socket, which you can plug in the mains and charge it in the mains. So with this being 700 watts, and you have to excuse the condition, it's been in my van a couple of weeks, uh, and it's covered in mud and all sorts because I kick it as I get in and out of the van. Um, this comes with uh, your 12 volt socket on the front, as you can see there, uh, for putting your cigarette socket in there. What I tend to use, if this helps, is this. So I've got a little tiny adapter little tiny adapter and on the end of it has got two USB-C um, adapters. You can get USB-C or standard USB-C, uh, standard USB, and you pop them in the end, it goes inside like that, and you've then got two USB sockets inside your power. So all you do is you switch your power on, run into a 12 volt system over this side, and you've then got this uh, additional two sockets to run and charge things with. So let's turn that off, get this back out again. It's got a little handle on it just for pulling it out and if you are interested in this I'll put a link in the description for you uh, very very handy and I keep it in the van all the time and it's in my wall socket behind me up there we've also got uh, four standard uh, 5 volt 3 amp USB A's uh, standard socket uh, literally your USB will just plug straight in and I'm doing a lot of twisting and turning today aren't I so you'd have your little charger or something like my M50 my M50 charger I then pop that into one of these sockets and I'll switch the power on, and I've now got power on my uh, device. You've also got a USB-C. This is a 100 watt USB-C charger. That means you can take a phone like mine, which is a real pain to charge, plug it into the 100 watt output, uh, USB-C to USB-C, and you're gonna get full maximum output to charge your phones with. You can see you've got this nice blue display on the front output, and it gives you your input. So if I was to plug my phone in, for instance, if I had a cable handy, so I'll tell you what, my Osmo is on charge. This is what I use for my landscape videos. So let's plug that in there, turn that on, and leave it on the top there charging. And we will see what we are getting. We are charging its output between one and three watts. That's very, very low output, but it is taking one watt out. Uh, so yeah, and then you've got your input on the top there, how much is going in. And then you've got a graph on the side there to tell you how much power is in it. It's got 80% uh, plus in this at the moment. So yeah, it's a really good machine. I uh, really, really like it. The beauty with it being 700 watts is it will charge uh, an awful lot of items and it will also run uh, some of the bigger items like maybe some curling tongs or a small set of hair dryers or something like that. 
Uh, it definitely runs my laptop. I use these for my laptop in the van all the time when I'm doing my editing and my processing of the videos. It's also on the top of this uh, if you're interested and it makes it very easy. You've got this fold up handle. The handle gets up and it goes folds. So it's completely flat on the top, which is great for putting your shoes on top of it when it's in your van or just anything really just makes it easy to stack up like say i can put this one on top of this one and i'm only taking up one footprint not two footprints uh, makes it a lot easier for um, smaller spaces to be honest uh, on the top of this as well um, i'm going to tip it over so you can see you've got a uh, wireless charging port this is a 15 watt wireless charging port and if i was to put my phone on the top i'd probably find i've got to switch it on somewhere but i've already got the uh, dc on on this side so if i put my phone on the top that should pop up and it is it's charging straight away which is absolutely fantastic it just saves all them cables being plugged in and plugged out um, the smaller ones got one as well um, but this is a really good feature it just means you can just throw your phone down and it will chart charging and also i've got a watch i don't know whether it'll charge my watch um, i'd be interested if it does in fact let's test it i don't think it'll charge my watch i have to have a special adapter for that but if it did it would be amazing it doesn't unfortunately um, but then I've got my little adapter that I just plug into the front of this anyway, so it's not really a problem. Right, I'm waffling. I need to get my phone and go through some details and show you what we've got on the actual details. So I'll put this up on the screen next to you so you can see this. So as you can see on the screen straight away, we've got uh, Bluetti uh, EB55 portable power station, 700 watts, 337 watt hours. Um, as we scroll down, uh, they give you a two-year hassle-free warranty, lifetime customer support. Uh, they're very good. They're always on the end of the line whenever I contact them. Uh, you can buy this with a solar panel um, at the moment, and we are just on the 15th of April at the moment. Uh, you can buy this at the moment with a solar panel for £880.99, pence, which is a reasonable price with a solar panel uh, for something that's packing out quite a punch like this. Um, as I scroll down a little bit more, uh, we've got the uh, Bluetti solar panel, PV120 uh, solar panel, uh, that's £329, so you can deduct that from the power station, which is £559, uh, that tells you how much this is to buy on its own standalone price. You can see there it says compact and lightweight, and it is quite lightweight. I wouldn't say this is heavy at all for a power station. Some of them are really quite heavy. And the fact that it's got this separate handle makes it quite easy to get hold of as well. Um, capacity, uh, surge capacity of 1,400 watts uh, with a strong inverter. So this means it's got a little bit of a kick. So if you put something in that sort of drives up a lot of power when you first initially plug it in, like fridges and things like that, they get this almighty about, uh, belt of power to get them fired up. This will take up to 1400 watts before it kicks over and kicks out. Uh, great for sort of fridge freezers, little mini freezers, radios, mobile phones, projectors and stuff like that. See there, standalone price, 559 at the moment, it's on sale. Uh, it's got a lithium PO4 battery uh, with a 2500 plus life cycle at 80%. So it means you can run this down to about 20%. Uh, over 2,000 times and it will still be okay to keep charging and keep it keep it working. 11 outputs for multi-functional drives. So we've got one, two, three, four USB A's. We've got a USB C, that's five. We've got two 240 volt uh, sine wave uh, sockets there. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, and we've got nine, 10, 11. So we've got two 12 volt, 10 amp round pin sockets. I've never had anything, I don't have anything that ever uses those sockets, but I'm sure someone will tell me what they use them for and uh, what they're handy for. So yeah, we've got 11 ways of using this for charging. In fact, you've got 12, haven't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, no, just me counting. <laughs> 200 watt maximum solar input, so you can have a solar panel up to 200 watts to plug into this. So when the sun's out and you're getting a bit of daylight, bosh, you're getting free energy, um, which is fantastic. I've got a solar panel on the roof of the van. I use it all the time. I've got a spare solar panel in the boot. So if this runs down and I'm out for a long time, if I'm out for a week or going away and traveling, then I can plug this in and charge it from the solar when the sun's out and I'm sitting around in the van. I just throw the, throw the solar panel on the roof and uh, let the cable run down and charge. 400 watt max fast charge charging. So that means you can have a solar and the AC simultaneously. So you can basically use the electric socket plugged into this, and you can also um, have a solar panel that's at 400 watts going back into this machine maximum. 
eco-friendly, gas-free, quiet, cost-effective. Once you've bought it, it doesn't cost you any electric. You know, so you can run this off of your car and charge it when you're driving, or you can run this off of the solar panel while you're driving. While you're driving, you can run this off a solar panel. Um, so yeah, it's actually free electric uh, electricity once uh, you've bought the outlay. So I think that's all I can really say about this little machine. Um, very, very good. Uh, like I say, I like Bluetti equipment. Uh, there are other companies that make other stuff, but um, this has got a really nice display. Looks pretty. Oh, and also on the back, let me just show you this on the back. Uh, let's just unplug that for a moment. So if I flick this round, on the back you have a light. So we can press this once, you get the first light. Press it again, it's a brighter light. Press it again. And I think, yeah, press it again, it goes over to SOS, which I think is a fantastic function. If you're in trouble, you can plonk this on the van, you know, on the floor outside your van or outside or on the back of your car. Uh, if you had a red gel that went over this or something like that, but just the pure fact that you've got an SOS on there, someone may see it and come and help you. Uh, so I think that's an absolutely fantastic idea. And I love this light uh, compared to this small light that you get on this one. If you see this little light here, there we go. The light's on, you get this little tiny weeny little light, which to me isn't really up to much use. Whereas this thing, you've got a massive light, will light the whole van up. And again, I'm not using any power in the van and jobs are good. So that's it, the EB55. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, give us that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in anything like this, the links will be in the description. Ta-da.